All right, how are you doing? So we're going to go to, um, let me finish roles first. A user has to belong to a role. So let's say every role has needs to have a name table. And we have a string. We need to know the role name, which is um, name. That's it. That's all we need in roles. So for instance, a good role name could be admin. We will have admin, we will have um, moderator moderators we'll have um a website on our webmasters then we have um customers or buyers buyers so those are the four kind of users we'll have and um which means we'll go to create users and then every user ha must have to belong to an uh, a role so we're going to do role id and uh, role id is integer and um, by default, it has to be, we need to make everybody a normal user, which is five. So say default, sorry, default value that should be there is four. The reason it's four is because when we create this role in the future, admin will take the ID of one, admin will be the first record, moderators will be the second, webmasters will be the third, and buyers will take the fourth, which is fourth ID number four. So we're saying if anybody is signing up into the platform at all, they should be signed up as a normal user. All right, then they can apply or something to become a webmaster, whatever that um, might result in the future. Now, um, now that roles is covered, I want to pause this video and continue in the next video where we'll treat transactions.